Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel in the next five seconds if you guys want the Season 4 Battle Pass for completely free. Fortnite Season 4 is here and this is everything we need to know about next season. We have all the Battle Pass skins confirmed, a Cypher PK's new Icon Series skin and there's even news about a live event for next season, so let's get straight into it. And if you guys are wanting a Season 4 Battle Pass for completely free, you guys are in luck because I do give five loyal subscribers every single day. To people who do, drop a like on the video, subscribe with all notifications turned on and a comment with the epic ID down below so I can add you guys. And a huge thank you to everyone using my support creator code Apple One in the Fortnite item shop today, as it does mean an absolute ton. So Fortnite Season 4 will begin tomorrow and here are all the times for downtime will begin with Fortnite now confirming the time. They have also updated the Paradise website to show a long music track which is really interesting because we have no idea what this is really for. But we roughly have around 24 hours until the servers actually do go live for Season 4 and it's going to be an absolutely crazy season. But with these teasers, Fortnite have also teased the Battle Pass skin starting off with Spider Gwen. She is now confirmed to be inside of the Season 4 Battle Pass alongside Miles Morales coming out later in the season in the item shop we then also are going to be getting goth meow schools he's been seen in these teasers as well which is a really really cool skin the paradigm will finally be coming out and it's actually voice acted by brie larson so expect her to have a style just like the foundation where he takes his helmet off which i think is really cool and then finally the last teaser we got was this weird chrome looking hand and after some digging fortnite fans have found that it's this skin from the surveys which i think looks really really nice let me know in the comment section below what you guys do think about these four or confirmed battle pass skins we're then going to be seeing the bloom watcher she is rumored to be coming out next season as well as the secret skin and the rest of the battle pass skins will be all original skins which is going to be super super amazing let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for the season 4 battle pass for they have actually been tweeting out some weird messages and capitalizing some of the letters inside of their tweets and if you guys actually do put them all together it spells chrome which looks like this chrome will actually be taking over the island next season leading into a big life event as Fortnite have also done some really encrypted teasers with like Chrome taking over certain objects and there's also a real life teaser over at Times Square in New York with this Fortnite Paradise thing which I think looks really really interesting. It looks like they are leading up to something big for next season but like I just said Paradise is confirmed to be having a live event at the end of the season and we do know this because Fortnite have already finished the last update for season 4 and have specific files that are only for an event so expect something big to happen at the end of next season which I am super, super excited for. We then have a new map. A new map has accidentally been leaked to possibly arriving in Season 5. Obviously, if the Chrome does consume all the islands, we're going to need a new island. But last week, leakers found a new leak called Extra Launch Option. It was originally called Season 23 Test Map Do Not Use, and it was updated to Astria. If you guys don't know all of the old Fortnite maps, they all have a similar name. Chapter 1 was called Athena, Chapter 2 was called Apollo, and then Chapter 3, what we're on now, is called Artemis and now we actually do have Astria so you can only imagine that we will actually be seeing a new map very very soon so make sure you guys do subscribe to find out first because we might actually be seeing a new map inside of season 5. We then have a new weapon coming out inside of season 4 if you guys did miss the scar we're actually going to be getting a new assault rifle it does less damage and shoots more bullets at once when going up in rarity and here are the stats from common to mythic so we will be getting a mythic version the damage actually seems pretty OP I can't lie it does seem very very overpowered and obviously if it shoots more bullets at once this thing is going to be really really insane but that's not all the new things we're going to be getting next season ATKs and RPGs have been teased to be returning again Fortnite posted a blog post a few days ago called Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4 Competitive Details and in this blog post the promotion image actually did tease the rocket launcher and ATKs coming back next season which I am super excited for the ATKs they are going to be so so cool on the Chapter 3 island but that's not all of the new things coming out next season as well a new mech suit will be arriving. We've been teased with this for so long now. Epic Games have been updating them all season. And recently in the Zero War comics, Iron Man actually uses a new mech suit, which is his Hulkbuster suit, which does confirm that this is going to be the new mech suit, Iron Man's Hulkbuster for the new mech for season four. It's going to be so overpowered. It has two primary weapons, one defense ability, a jumping mechanic, and also a sprinting mechanic. It's going to be super, super broken. And we're also then going to be seeing motorcycles come out next season as well which i am so 
excited for. You don't understand how excited I am for motorcycles to come out next season. They're going to be one of the sickest mobility things to ever come into Fortnite. We're going to be able to drift with them, boost with them. We're also going to be able to get two people on the bike as well. Because we're going to go off-road on them, on-road on them. It's going to be absolutely amazing. We then have Cypher PK's Icon Series skin. He has now confirmed that he is going to be getting Icon Series skin. And will be revealed later today. By the time you're probably watching this video, he would have probably already revealed his skin. Congratulations to Cypher PK to finally getting an Icon Series skin. It, it's amazing. I can't lie. He's been through Fortnite through thick and thin. And he's finally getting an Icon Series skin. So be on the lookout. Make sure you guys are using a supporter credit code if you guys are picking up his Icon Series skin. When it does release inside of Fortnite Season 4. We then have an amazing character that will be coming out inside of next season as well. Which is going to be Geno. Yes, he's possibly going to be coming into the Battle Pass as well. Maybe as the Tier 100 skin. As he's actually been seen in the comics and also in a brand new skin survey. You guys can see here, this skin looks amazing. He is in charge of the Imagined Order, which means he's very, very evil. And as you guys can see, his two styles here, he has like a base style and an upgraded style in like all his white armor, which I think looks absolutely insane. And this skin will possibly be getting revealed next season as well. Also, like I just said, in the Season 4 Battle Pass. But my designer, EA Skate Concept, has actually recreated this skin. So you guys can actually get a better understanding of what this skin will look like in game. And I think it looks insane. This skin's probably going to be one of the sickest ones ever. Make sure you guys are looking out for Geno to come out next season. Just like the Bloom Watcher that we did get teased at the very end of this season as well. But that is everything we have for Fortnite Season 4 just now. We will be getting a load more links within downtime. So I will be uploading again in downtime. So make sure you guys do subscribe with all those notifications on. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please do consider popping in my support credit code Apple One. As it literally takes one second to do so, and it is the best way to support me with that extra mile. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace. Hopeless illusion